Hello approach. Let's give it a few seconds until we got some more people here online so we can start our Instagram live. Hi, Fabi. Fabi is one of our teachers. Uh, Fabi and Marcelo were just in an Instagram live this morning talking to our students about questions that they had about English. Hi, Luis. Gulbug. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Instagram live. My name is Luciana Barbiero, and I am the academic and career advisor at Approach. And if you are thinking about applying to a U.S. college or university in the future, hold on, stay here, stay in this life. This is, <laughs> this is going to be a great session for you. And maybe if you have friends that are thinking about applying for a U.S. college or university, make sure you send this live to them right now. Or maybe, you know, it's going to be up for another 24 hours and they can still watch it. Okay? So the Instagram live today is about college, as I said, and the topic is the right mindset for international student success. So let's see. Uh, let me see if everyone here, are you guys interested in colleges? I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to give you, I will be giving you <laughs> some motivation tips and action plans that you can start taking if you're thinking about college in the future. And towards the end of the live, I will uh, take a look at the questions that you guys have. Um, so let me see if I, we have any comments before I start. Luciana, <laughs> Fabi, so funny. Well, yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm going to start the Instagram Live with the, the questions about the right mindset for international student success. And then keep in mind that towards the end of the live, I, I will ask you guys if you have any questions. And I see that Gabby is, is, is in the Instagram live. Please, can you talk slow? Because some people can't understand. I'm so sorry, guys. Yes, I can speak very fast. Um, I apologize. I will do my best. If I do speak very fast, you guys, you know, put a comment out there. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. As I mentioned to you guys, uh, today we will be talking more a motivation talk about college. If you're thinking about college, but you're not sure where you are, and you know, maybe you heard about people going to college and you think that that's a dream that is very far away from your reality, you're not sure if you can do it, and so if you are that person that you think that college is impossible, it's too expensive for you, it's this or that, or there are a thousand things going on, um, this is an Instagram live for you. So you can start, hopefully, considering uh, a different path for your future, right? Okay, let's get started. So uh, I will first give you a few, uh, a few topics for you to think about, and then I will give you a few action plans that you can think about. And towards the end of the live, just so you know, I will be talking about some courses that you can take online. What? Yes. So, as you guys probably know, here in Boston, everybody is at home, working from home, right? Maybe you're watching us from a different country and you are home too. So, this is an amazing time for, for you to improve yourself and improve your resume, uh, improve, get, you know, expand your knowledge. So, Stay with us because at the end of the live, I'm going to tell you two different websites that you can um, take some very, very cool online courses. Okay? Okay, let's get started. So, number one, know the why. And that's very, very important. Um, so, if you are here in the United States, why? Why did you come to the United States originally? Think about when you were in your home country and you were dreaming about coming to the United States. What were you thinking? You know, why? Why did you come? Did you come here to study English? Did you come here because you knew that you wanted to go to a college or university? Why did you want to come? And if you are in a different country, you can also think about the why. Why do I want to go to the United States? And it's very important that you keep in mind that little why. And you want to know the reason? Because that will keep you motivated and will keep you focused in your goal or your dream. So 
Know your why. Write this down so you can think about and explore what is your why. Okay, now number two. What is your dream? What is your dream? Now, I wanted to think about if you could achieve, if you could achieve anything. Okay, if you could achieve any dream. Your dream could be anything that, you know, it might be something impossible, out of reach in your mind. But if you could achieve anything, if money wasn't a problem, what would your dream be? And obviously, in this Instagram Live specifically, we're talking about dreams related to attending an American college or university, right? So if your dream is to attend a U.S. college or university, I want you to think about where is this dream right now? Is this dream only here in your mind? Uh, have you told anyone about your dream? Have you written about your dream on a piece of paper? Did you create a vision board yet with your dream? Where is your dream right now? Remember that the next step after your dream is only in your mind to take that into action, you must write it down or talk to people or get informed, right? And I was reading uh, an article very interesting on Forbes this morning that it said, uh, people who very vividly describe or picture their goals are anywhere from 1.2 to 1.4 times more likely to successfully accomplish their goals. Wow, get that piece of information and write it down. <laughs> So keep in mind that it's very important that you write your dreams down, write your goals down so you can have an action plan, right? So keep that in mind, writing your dreams and your goals down. And then when we're talking about dreams, goals, and is your dream connect or your, or your goal connected to your why? Remember when I was talking in the beginning of this Instagram live? about the reason why you came to the United States or why you want to come to the United States. Is your dream or your goal connected to that why? So some things for you to uh, consider and think about, right? Now let's talk a little bit about mindset in action. And because that's what gets us there, right? Action. So, okay. I'm going to tell you a little story here, and I want you to think about this. Sometimes I get students that come to me and say, um, Hi, Luciana, I, I really wanted to go to college, but I can't because it's too expensive. I can't afford it. I'm like, okay, college in the U.S. can be expensive, and it is expensive, for sure. We all know that. But then, here's my conversation with the student. Okay, um... How expensive do you think attending a U.S. college or university is? And then the student looks at me and says, I don't know. I just hear it's expensive. I'm like, okay, but how expensive? Do you, do you know how much money it is? And then the student looks at me and says, uh, I don't know. So uh, the reason I'm telling you this is that a lot of times when you are thinking about, you know, uh, attending a U.S. college or university, you only, you put this, big challenge in front of you saying that it's expensive. But are you looking for the facts? Do you know how much it actually cost? So this is very important. Remember your why, your goal, your dream, and then how do you turn that into action? How are you going to turn something into action if you don't have um, the information, right? So make sure you know the information. And I do want to share here that at Approach, we offer college advising to all of our students for free. And that's amazing, right? Because a lot of times we know that it can be very overwhelming applying to U.S. colleges and universities. But I do want to tell you this, that we are here for you. And I do also want to mention something that I was also an international student myself about 10 years ago. Uh, which is a fun fact, right? So when I was an English language learner back then studying in an ESL school, and in fact, I studied at Approach, uh, and after I finished my course at, a, at Approach, I transitioned to a college setting. So I've gone through all these feelings and emotions and 
thoughts that college might be impossible and this and that. And I'm here to tell you that it is possible. But you need to know the right information and plan ahead. Let me just see here. Comments. Sky Moon, if you can't leave your comfort zone, you can't do anything. Whatever you want in this life, if you can have a dream in this life, you should be, you should leave your comfort zone. I agree with you for sure. Important to leave your comfort zone, right? Uh, a lot of times it's comfortable to be where you are. But guys, let me tell you something. There is a world of possibilities out there. And, you know, someone will get these opportunities. It might as well be you, right? So keep those things in mind. Now, I want to, to share more information with you about the courses that I, I mentioned to you earlier in the, in the Instagram Live. Because now we're going to be talking about action, right? Um, a lot of times, some students come to me not only thinking that financially it's impossible to attend a U.S. college or university, but they also think that their English is not ready yet. Now, let me tell you something about that. Uh, obviously, it's important that you know English and you speak English uh, well enough to transition to a college setting, right? And at Approach, uh, when you complete your ESL program with us and you pass our test, the Oxford test that we offer, you can transfer to any of our 13 different partners without the TOEFL requirement. And that is pretty cool, right? Uh, but obviously, because our students are not taking the TOEFL, we do want to make sure their English is ready. What happens is that sometimes students, even though they are in a higher level, they think that they are not there yet. And I was talking to Pedro yesterday on one of our Instagram lives, and that's what something that he mentioned that I thought was very interesting. So uh, Pedro is transferring to Merrimack College, uh, which is one of our partners. And what he did, he uh, we were able to set up for him to go and sit for a class, for an engineering class, an actual class in a college. So Pedro was able to do that. And that after he did that, he realized that, wow, my English is actually good. I think I can transfer to a college now. So it's important for you to start finding uh, little action steps that you can take to see if you're actually ready to transition to a college, right? Um, okay, so let's talk about those courses that I just mentioned to you. And if you have pen and paper, now it's a good time to write this down. So two online courses that I always recommend um, to students. I see a lot of people joining. Hi, everyone. We're talking about college and how you can plan for college in case you just joined us. So those two courses that I can talk about right now, one is called EDX, okay? Let me see if I can write here, EDX. Let's see if I can post it. Yes, I was able to do it, yes. <laughs> so EDX is one of the courses that I really recommend. And the other one is Coursera. Cor Sarah, yes, let's see, there you go. So EDX, EDX and Coursera are really good websites that I recommend because, let me tell you why, after you complete a program, uh, or, uh, a course in their website, you can get a certificate from the university that you took the course. Wow, that's really cool, right? And let me tell you something cool. Even Harvard and MIT, very competitive universities that we hear about all over the world, right? They offer courses at these platforms. So if you want to give a boost in your resume, of course, this is a real, these are very good websites to start. But not only that, if you're thinking about attending a U.S. college or university in the future, these are two, um, these are two websites that you can use to see how you're feeling with your English, right? Because you will be, uh, you will need to submit assignments, write papers, and that's kind of like a preparation for you. So two very good websites that I like to recommend. Now, tip number two for action plans. Are you ready? <laughs> 
So if you live in Boston, visit the colleges and universities. Obviously, we cannot go and do that right now, but soon, hopefully, we will be able to visit again the colleges and universities, right? So if you guys are here in Boston, you have a huge advantage because you can visit the colleges in person. And if you are abroad, if you're not here in the United States, a lot of universities in um, here, they offer virtual tours. So you can kind of like see online the campus and that's pretty cool too. And I actually have a, a funny story here to share with you. Um, so as I mentioned to you, I was an international student myself about 10 years ago and I studied at Approach. And then I remembered that I visited a college, you know, back then. And while I was visit visiting the college, I really felt that I wanted to study there. I could see myself walking around campus. I saw myself like holding my books and attending classes. And it was such a huge dream. I attended um, an information session and I loved the college. Now, great, right? Fantastic, fell in love. Then I got home and I checked the price and, and I'm like, uh, no, I can't afford it. And it was very sad at the time that to hear that the college that I really wanted to attend, I could not afford because it was too expensive. Um, but look at this. At the time where I went to the information session, I took a picture in front of the, the college sign. And then I took this picture and I printed that picture and I put on my vision board. And then every day I would look at that and, you know, like, ah, oh, I really want to get my bachelor's degree from that university. I really want to study there. I can see myself there. And I was feeling this because when important, because at the beginning of the life, we were talking about dreams and goals, right? And when you have a dream, when you have your dreams and goals, in order to put those plans into action, you need to feel as this is happening already. And that's what I did. And let me tell you how it happened. Originally, I wasn't able to study there because it was too expensive. But then I started studying first in a community college. And after that, what happened is that that college that I really wanted to study had a partnership with the community college that I was studying and the price dropped down by a lot because of the partnership. And I was able to study in the college that I dreamed of. So this is a pretty cool story that I love sharing about because I'm very proud of, you know, the kind of the vis vis visualization that I did back then. And it didn't work exactly as I wanted originally because I wanted to study there right away, but it eventually happened in the future. So believe your dreams and write them down, visualize, put a picture out there, talk to people about it, feel that inside of you, right? Um, so that's a, a story of, that happened to me that I wanted to share with you that if you were thinking about your plans here in the future, do make sure you feel that and then you can visualize that. Um, and a, not, a third piece of advice that I wanted to share with you about the action part of the plan is that um, talk to international students. Talk to students who uh, were in a similar position uh, that you are at the moment and are currently pursuing your dream. And here at Approach, something that is very nice, we have a lot of international students who uh, used to study at Approach and they transfer to an American college. And what we do, part of our advising here is that um, we connect our current students to our former students, former Approach students who are currently attending a US college or university. And the reason why this is so cool is that because you can talk to them about their experience. They went through this whole process of, am I going to be able to afford it? Can I do this? How is your English, you know? So there are a lot of things for you to um, keep in mind and talk to people about it so you can get informed, have the right information. Um, and then I do want to say that if you start taking little steps to, towards your goal, you will begin uh, to change this mindset, right? Because, okay, 
attending a U.S. college or university in the U.S. Can, is very expensive. Okay, let's see how expensive it is first, and let's start taking little action plans towards our goal. And then after you do all that, <laughs> I suggest that you talk to me. Uh, if you are an approach student, I'm always available now that we are uh, during this period of time, I am uh, advising students online. So if you want to schedule your appointment, uh, an appointment with me, do make sure you, you use this time. You're at home, you have lots of time. And I will be super happy to advise you in that. If you're not our student yet, hopefully in the future, when you're coming here to the US to study at Approach with us, I will be able to meet you and advise you for college as well. And uh, another very interesting tip that I wanted to share with you, for those of you who are not sure about what you want to do in the future, okay? So maybe you have a bachelor's degree in business from your home country, right? But then you want to um, pursue a master's degree in psychology, or maybe you're like, Luciana, I don't know what I wanna do. I used to study business back in my home country, but now I, I just, I don't know if I like that anymore, if I want to explore something different. And colleges and universities here in the US are very uh, flexible on that. You can explore different fields. So if you are that person that you're not sure what field you want to pursue, I have two really good websites for you. Um, these are two websites that you can do personality tests. And then after, so you hear a little bit about your personality and the website also suggests to you um, careers that are connected to that profession. So let me see if I can write here. So one of them is my next move. My next move. So that's one, mynextmove.org. And the other one is career one stop. Co career one stop career one stop so those are two websites that you can take personality tests and they will suggest professions related to your your personality plus you can see the salaries that this uh, professions make so you can you know think that if this profession is something that will help you make money in the future. <laughs> um, and then after you do this, you will probably know yourself a little bit better, which will help you also through the application process when you're applying to a US college or university. Uh, and while I'm, go I'm, I'm about to wrap up my conversation here, if you guys have any questions related to college and you wanna write down in the comments, now it's a good time because our live is, it has about a few, just a few more minutes until we end this live. So if you have questions, write your questions down now. And um, while I was saying about, uh, you know, know yourself, it's important for you to make a list of your accomplishments. What have you accomplished uh, academically, professionally, in your life? Um, what are the challenges that, that you overcame in the past, right? By doing things like that, this will help you when you're up, when you're applying to a U.S. college or university because you will need to uh, write personal statements. You will need letters of recommendation. Okay, so we have hello, Batya. I don't, I, I can't speak Turkish, guys. I'm sorry, <laughs> but hello, <laughs> Muhammad. Hi, how are you guys? Uh, so I hope you enjoyed these tips. Uh, again, just a, as a wrap up, don't forget, don't forget what's your why. Know uh, what is your dream and your goal. Write those down, print out a paper, feel that goal, feel that dream becoming a reality. And hopefully soon you will be doing it, you know, transitioning from uh, an English language school to a college setting. And don't forget that the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. There's this famous qu quote by Lao Tzu that uh, 
I love to use it and it's really what's the first step that you're taking towards your future. So keep that in mind. And I hope this has inspired you hopefully a little bit to transition to college and again to our students, please uh, make sure you, uh, you schedule an online session with me. I will be more than happy to advise you uh, in your transition to a college setting. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you're having an amazing week and I will see you tomorrow in another Instagram live. Bye.